Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua Mashiach, to share counsel the Lord has given me on June 30th, 2023. I ask as with everything on this channel, including this word, that you would take everything to the Lord personally for your own confirmation and for your own understanding. Also, if you have never accepted Jesus Christ, Yehoshua Mashiach, as your personal savior, there will be a video in the description box called How to Find Jesus. You can also reach out to me personally at servantforhisglory44 at gmail.com. It may be a little bit before I can get back to you, but I will get back to you as soon as I have time. And also, as much as I love my brothers and sisters dearly, the Lord has encouraged me to disable the comments at this present moment. But if you have an inquiry, you can reach me again personally. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. This will be in reference to the judgment uh, declaration that the Lord had brought forth um, the other day concerning Crossville, Tennessee. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Again, this counsel was given on June 30th, 2023. Father, it has come to my attention that there is a place in Crossville, Tennessee, called the Dragon Haven. May I please have counsel concerning this, if I, your servant, have found grace in your sight? Yes, daughter, warn my people to pray against this great evil. Warn the people that the evil from Camp Crossville and the 4-H Center has bled over, and the oppression has infiltrated the land. Warn the residents that sorcery is being done against them. All not rooted in me are vulnerable. Read Exodus 22. Okay, so I'm just going to read Exodus 22 now. If a man st shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five ox, sin for an ox, and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be an ox or an ass or a sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or a vineyard to be eaten, shall put in his beast, and shall feed in another man's field, of the best of his own field, and of the best of his own vineyard, shall he make restitution. If fire break out, and catch in thorns, so that the stacks of corn, or the standing corn, or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindled the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he hath put his hand into his neighbor's goods. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for an ox, for an ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any manner of lost thing, which another challengeth, to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass or an ox, or a sheep, or a beast, to keep it, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeth it. Then shall an oath of the Lord be between them both, that he hath not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods, and the owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. If it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for a witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. And if a man borrow all of his neighbor, and it be hurt, or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be an hired thing, it came for his hire. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Other laws. 
Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lies with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrificeth unto any god, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry, and my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows and your ch children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as a usurer, neither shalt thou lay upon him usury. If thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him by that the sun goeth down. For that is his covering only, it is his raiment for his skin, wherein shall he sleep, and it shall come to pass, when he crieth unto me, that I will hear, for I am gracious. Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, and of thy liquors, the firstborn of thy sons shalt thou give unto me. Likewise shalt thou do with thine oxen, and with thy sheep seven days it shall be with his dam, and on the eighth day thou shalt give it to me. And ye shall be holy men unto me, neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of the beast in the field, ye shall cast it to the dogs. So with these verses, I would encourage you to seek the Lord personally for how he wants you to interpret these verses in agreement with the New Testament and with the New Covenant. So I'm going to go ahead on now. Okay. So it says, read Exodus 22 and then say a prayer. So I'm going to do that now. Dear Heavenly Father, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. My Father, my Father, I ask, O Lord, that you would rise up as a mighty man of war, and that you would bring swift judgment and justice upon the land, against any type of divination and sorcery that is being done against your people concerning Crossville, Tennessee, O oh Lord. Father, you said, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Father, I come to stand against those that would do evil um, against you and against your people and against your created beings and against this earth, O oh Lord. And so I loose the blood of the Lamb uh, over your people. I loose the blood of the Lamb over your people that reside in Crossville, Tennessee. I take, I stand for them, Lord, those that are believers in Yehoshua in Crossville, Tennessee, and I ask for mercy. And I ask, O oh Lord, that you would have mercy on whom you would have mercy, you would have compassion upon you, you would have compassion. Father, I ask for a strong conviction upon those that would be dabbling in sorcery, or any type of magic, whether white magic, dark magic, any type of things that are against what your word says. And anyone that does not decide to repent, Father, I just ask, O oh Lord, for your, your mighty hand of intervention, O oh Lord. Because I believe that there's much at stake, O oh Lord, that there's things that are being perpetrated against your people. I ask for anybody that is in oppression because of sorcery upon the land. I ask for a pardon and I ask you to set them free and with it that simultaneously you would send them conviction to seek you, to turn to you with their whole heart, to give their lives to you and to come under your covenant of safety, Lord. Yes. So I just ask for that mercy. I ask for your compassion, Lord. And then I ask for your justice and judgment, O oh Lord. Yes, I ask for your justice and judgment. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that you would open the eyes of those that are unable to see. Open the ears of those that are unable to hear. And Father, that you would cause a scattering. Yes, O oh Lord. That you would rise up as a mighty man of war and cause a scattering, O oh Lord. That you would continue to expose darkness and bring it to the light so that we can pray. 
Father, we can pray on these things. So I just thank you for what you're going to do, O Lord. I ask for your holy angels to be dispatched now to fight against the forces of darkness that are trying to bring evil into our nation. And I say, Father, whatever pleases you, let your will be done in this earth. Whatever pleases you in Crossville, Tennessee, I say, let your will be done. Whatever pleases you in this nation of America, let your will be done. Whatever pleases you concerning the nations, let your will be done. Because it's all about you, O Lord. You're sovereign. All things work to the good of those that love you and are called according to your purpose. So I just praise you and I lift up all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Yehoshua. So I'm going to finish this word now. Okay, it says... Read my warning again and proclaim my truth. Who will stand up for me against evildoers? But lo, many are lulled to sleep and evil continues to increase. Where are my people? For if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Thus saith the Lord, my anger is greatly kindled, for my people wax fat in their comfortable dwellings, while I myself grieve over the great sin of the nation. I am sick. These people are foolish, without root. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have no understanding to discern. They are greedy of gain. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Thus saith the Lord, repent. I shed my precious blood for your freedom while you sit and do nothing. I say repent. I say judgment starts in the house of the Lord. And this is in the name of Yehua, Yehoshua, Holy, or Yehoshua HaMashiach, Holy Spirit. So now I'm going to show these three. Uh, numbers and strongs that the Lord had given me to go with this and then I'm going to show about the place I that I mentioned okay here's the number 10 destruction the number 717 Armageddon and then the next number 4730 this is narrowness of space difficulty and narrow space great distress anguish. You can read a little bit about that. Um, at the bottom it talks about narrow place, difficult circumstances which the Lord always authorized and hence only produces a temporal sense of confinement. And you know, just you can read the rest of it negative confinements that result from living outside of the Lord's will. I believe that if we're not in covenant with the Lord, if we're in rebellion, then we open ourselves up to the consequences of being outside of the Lord's will, which is why it's very important to repent from your sins and to turn to Him wholeheartedly so that you are under His hand of protection. Here is the place mentioned. It's called Dragon Haven. I'm going to read what it says. It says about us. Dragon Haven is a beautiful 14-acre private faculty located in Crossville, Tennessee. The property was purchased in 2012 by Jen and Larry with the hopes of building a space for the pagan community for 10 years. They poured their love and intent into every part of the grounds. Fall of 2021, that vision finally became a reality. Ever since Dragon Haven has become a sanctuary for pagans of all paths, to gather and celebrate the turning of the wheel together. Our property features a stone circle, a fairy garden, several ponds and waterfalls, nature paths, campsites, fire pits, and gardens. During events, we have a kids' area, the Dragon's Nest, a food pavilion, an outdoor community kitchen, adult and teen classes, kids' activities, and for our larger events, we offer spaces for vendors on our artisan alley. Our community is a wonderful, inclusive, one welcoming group of practitioners from all walks of life at Dragon Haven, Wiccans, Druids, Norse, Celtic, Eclectic, 
Solitary and pagans of all types come together to celebrate the Sabbaths with other like-minded people. Our events are free. And then um, I'm going to skip that part because of the algorithm. And family-friendly. We have groups travel from as far as Michigan and New York to take part in the festivities. For many of us, Dragon Haven is our sanctuary, our home away from home, and the members are our chosen family. It is where we are accepted, respected, and loved without judgment, no matter our race, gender, and, you know, the rest of it you can read right there. So I just want to um, encourage, if you are a believer and you have clicked on this video, that I encourage you to pray the Lord's perfect will would be done concerning these things. I'm going to be in prayer over these things as well. I also want to give a testimony that is me and my prayer partner were praying on the grounds. We were hearing screaming, all kinds of screaming coming from the woods. And supposedly the place was supposed to be closed. So I do believe that there's great evils that are taking place in our nation. Above ground and underground, I believe the Lord is going to do more exposure uh, because this is the time of the awakening and exposure. This is the time of the reward of the wicked and the reward of the just. So I want to encourage you, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, as your Lord and Savior, to turn to him now while there's still time and get under his uh, covenant of safety. Because if you are not in alignment with him, if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, then you are outside of his hand of protection. So when these things come to pass, all witchcraft and sorcery, if you are not under his hand of protection, if you're not in covenant with Messiah, then you uh, are vulnerable to attacks from all of the, these things taking place. These things are very serious. Demonic oppression and possession is, is very real. Hell is real. And so the only place of safety and hope is in the Lord, Yehoshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So again, I ask that, that as you listen to this and you click on this video, that you would seek the Lord on all these matters, on, on what he would have you to do. I'm going to share one thing real quick. I'm going to pause it and then share this verse. So this is a great verse to use against sorcery. It's Numbers 23, 23. And it says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What hath God, Yah, Ra? So again, if you are right standing, if you have clean hands and a pure heart, then none of these things can take root. You know, no weapon formed against you will prosper. But if you have given the enemy an open door, that is when those things can come and, and be perpetrated against you and can take root. So I would encourage you to really, this is the time, it's so important right now, that if you have any type of sin in your life, if you have given the enemy any type of open door, you know, things like pornography, fornication, um, I don't know, Dif you know, the different sins that um, the enemy would would try to bring forth into our lives. And, and if we're not rooted in the Lord, we may give in to those things. I would encourage you to seek him and ask, you know, he's very, our father is very merciful. If you're struggling with certain sins, you know, there was a time where I uh, struggled with certain sins. I'm no different than anyone else. But as I continue to... Um, commit myself to him as I continue to ask for his guidance and help. He slowly delivered me out of a lifestyle of sin, of lukewarmness, and he can do the same for anyone. If he can take me out of the world and refine me in the way that he has, he can do it with anyone. So thank you for listening. I will pray. I will be in prayer for anyone that has listened to this video that the Lord will give you the counsel that you need. Um, actually, I just realized that I haven't finished this word, so let me finish reading the word. Okay, so I'm going to read this word now. Read my warning again and proclaim my truth. Who will stand up for me against evildoers? But lo, many are lulled to sleep and evil continues to increase. Where? 
are my people. For if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Thus saith the Lord, my anger is greatly kindled, for my people wax fat in their comfortable dwellings. While I myself grieve over the great sin of the nation, I am sick. These people are foolish without root. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have no understanding to discern. They are greedy of gain. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Thus saith the Lord, Repent. I shed my precious blood for your freedom while you sit and do nothing. I say, Repent. I say, Judgment starts in the house of the Lord. And then the original word was, this was one of three declarations of judgment given on June 28, 2023. Daughter, what do you see? As I am driving into Crossville, Tennessee, I see a bomb exploding in the realm of the spirit. Daughter, yes, this is correct. Daughter, declare my judgment upon Crossville, Tennessee, for the blood of the innocent cries out to me. A place of much, much evil exists here. Daughter, read Isaiah 31 through 17. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame and also reproach. The burden of the beasts of the south into the land of trouble and anguish. From whence come the young and old lion, the viper and fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path. Calls the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because he despise his word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel, that it is broken in pieces, he shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of a sherd to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall you be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be your strength, and you would not. But ye said, No, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall you flee. And we will ride upon the swift, that therefore shall they that pursue be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one. At the rebuke of five shall you flee, till you lay left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and as an ensign on a hill. Daughter, now warn the people that Crossville, Tennessee, will face swift judgment from the strong arm of the Lord. Warn the people that judgment is here. Warn the people to repent and to seek me wholeheartedly. Tell the people that I am their only hope. And this is the name of Yehoah, Yehoshua, Holy Spirit. And so, um, again, thank you for listening. I will pray that the Lord will give you counsel. Thank you. In Yeshua's name, amen.